Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Game Feed. And this episode is actually a little, um, it's actually kind of hard um, to really talk about. I didn't know this person as in real life, uh, and I, I, it's hard to really get the words out. Like I said, I, I really don't like to do things scripted, so I just kind of like to talk things out of my head. But um, this, this video is kind of dedicated to two different people. Um, the first thing, um, as you guys know, in the news over the weekend, uh, President of Nintendo Satoru Iwata passed away, um, which is really, really sad news. Um, as an individual uh, looking into his life, and as much as I've looked into uh, the video, video game industry as a whole, um, Nintendo has always been at the forefront of it, um, you know, either been um, from the beginning of the NES all the way up until now, and um, Satoru Iwata uh, has been a face between him, Reggie, and Miyamoto, Satoru Iwata was a face of that specific uh, brand, and um, it, it's really sad to hear about this because... You know, you should watch all the Nintendo Directs, the, the E3 um, shows, the digital shows they did, and um, it always it always made me smile just to see him, um, because you could tell he was one of those guys that loved the games. He loved seeing people have fun. I mean, the guy gave half of his salary um, to make sure that people did not get fired from. Nintendo company after um, the Wii U didn't perform as well as it should have. And that says a lot. You don't see very many other uh, people in the gaming industry. It's like that. Nintendo's always been about, let's have fun. And one of these things he always says, you please understand. Um, please understand that you know we're trying new things. We want to broaden our horizons. We want you to experience new things. It's never been about top-edge graphics and um, violent gameplay, but we see on all these other systems. I'm not saying Nintendo doesn't have that, but I'm just saying when you think of Nintendo, um, just like this for example, 3DS. When you think of Nintendo, you think of fun. Um, Pokemon, Mario, Yoshi, um, all these characters is almost the equivalent of uh, Disney World for younger kids. Um, I've been brought up on Nintendo's games for all my life. Um, I, I missed out on some systems like the N64 up until just a few years ago is when I bought it. Um, I bought my own 64, but I did play some games back in the day. But I bought the Wii U first day of launch, the 3DS, the Nintendo GameCube, the Wii. Um, and it's just it was fun, like... Just fun stuff, and Satoru Iwata was, he was actually a creator himself before he took the reins of the president. He worked for HAL Laboratories. And it's just sad to see the passing of such a great, I, I'm, he's an icon, he's a legend. Um, and, you know, it, it, it's nice to see that other companies like uh, Microsoft, Sony, and even even uh, development teams uh, coming out and showing their uh, appreciation to Iwata after the fact that happened. And it, it really is sad. Um, I learned about the news over the weekend, and I was shocked. I was sitting here on, in my chair um, just editing some video, and um, it popped up in my feet. I was like, wow, whoa, 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 what happened? And my fiancé and my friend was sitting there on the couch. They're like, you you all right? It's like, no, I'm, I'm not all right. Um it's 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 sad because it's it takes a part out of you it's almost like if your dog died even though <laughs> a dog compared to a lot of, I, I didn't know the person as a whole but it's like a childhood uh, memory just taken away from you and I'm without words really say about it but it's gonna be weird seeing another Nintendo, Nintendo Direct um, at E3 digital event without Mr. Iwata. Um, and, of course, I mean, you still have Reggie and Miyamoto, but it's just one of those things. But, um, guys, 
take a moment um, and just appreciate uh, Nintendo as a company, as, as well as Mr. Iwata. His legacy is going to live on uh, forever, even if it's his games or just the company itself. Um, which that leads me to my next thing, which is um, this is kind of like an end of era type uh, video for me. Um, which we, we've we've all been uh, looking in the news about Kojima and uh, Konami debacle, whatever's going on with that. Um, so to do this this morning, I wrote, found out about um, they removed uh, pretty much anything to do with Kojima from the box art of Metal Gear Solid: uh, The Phantom Pain. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen within game as well. If they're going to take some of those assets out, but. That's really sad because <laughs> I've played all the Metal Gear games. I love Kojima. I love his work. Um, he is passionate. He did want a way. He's always wanted to get out of Metal Gear. But I think um, to strip his identity from his masterpiece, his last game, last Metal Gear Solid game, which there probably could have been more after this. There's probably going to be more Metal Gear, so I'm not saying there's not. But to strip the identity away from that specific game. Um, I mean, that would be like taking Picasso's name off of a piece of his art and say, oh, who did that? Oh, Konami. Konami made it, or what? Who, whoever. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> but it's the same. But, um, no, it's, it's definitely sad to see that, but um, Kojima's going to be fine. Kojima's going to be completely fine throughout this mess. The people that's going to suffer are gamers um, and Konami. Konami's, for better terms, fucked. Um, I mean, they'll continue Metal Gear. I don't know what they're going to do with it. Maybe make a mobile s series spinoff or uh, get Platinum to do it, which Platinum did fine with Metal Gear Rising. It's not a Metal Gear game, but it's it works. But guys... Um, Thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hit uh, subscribe and like. And be thankful for everything you guys got. Um, especially if you follow gaming or any other thing. You never know when something's going to be taken away from you. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you hit subscribe, follow. And I want to give a shout out to Boogie2988. Um, he got to see my last vid. And he liked it. So, <laughs> And thank you so much guys. Thanks for the support. And you guys take it easy.